Hello all, welcome to my video on how to connect to an MDF file using the Visual Studio environment. Click on project on opening the file you want and click on add new data source. I am under the assumption that you have already pre-downloaded pre the files from the blackboard. Choose database click on next and choose the next data set click on new connection Microsoft SQL Server database file this should be the default one when you're working with the MDF files you I suggest you to uncheck the button here checkbox and click on continue button now locate the file from the where you have already downloaded click on open to ensure that the connection works you just make a text connection we are fortunate that it has succeeded and click on ok now click on next button your MDF file is ready to use we can you can see already the MDF file has been added to the solution explorer and before retrieving the database information you should have an idea of what information should use the data set for like it will be having the tables views and the stored procedures ignore this message and functions so uh, our programs make use of almost all the sources present here the stored procedures use this procedures everything like that so click on finish It will take some sum of time. Before proceeding to run the program, let's initially check whether our connection was successful or not. We should be able to see the customer's data. No data is coming, so there is some issue, I guess. From the customers, click on app.config, choose the connection string. Come to the get database connection method. You need to keep your the current path instead of a predefined one. I would suggest you adding a prefix with at the rate symbol so that it would ignore any other slashes. Now let's check where, whether our program works or not. Yeah, we are able to see the customers and the company's data. If you want to check whether our changes are getting reflected in the database or not, now we have an update query. Yeah, let's take some name like 
I'm not sure. There's some customer name with Harry. I'd like to update it with okay and now click on control F5 to run the program again and let's see whether the rows are getting updated or not yeah there is like there is syntax error you can see the zero rows has been written like here the cmd will execute non query is returning the number of rows that are updated now let's run our program again and see whether the update operation is successful or not yes one row has been written like which means the customer name hari kumar has been sent to a new name okay yes we can see it here that's it hope you all enjoyed this video thank you for watching it